So you're thinking about getting a WGU cybersecurity degree. Maybe you heard it's the fastest way to take you to six figures in your tech career, or maybe you think it's just the golden ticket to get into tech. Well, I've got news for you. The WGU cybersecurity degrees, they are good for some people, but for most people, you want to know what you're actually getting yourself into when you decide to get a cybersecurity degree from WGU. And I've helped hundreds of people land high paying jobs in tech. In this video, I'm going to break down who should or who shouldn't actually get the WGU cybersecurity degree. And I'll cover the smartest path to a six-figure tech career that most people are completely overlooking. So whether you're considering WGU or you're just trying to figure out how to get to six figures in your tech career, stick around because I'm about to save you years of wasted time and thousands of dollars. WGU has two different cybersecurity degrees. They have a bachelor's in cybersecurity and information assurance and a master's in cybersecurity and information assurance. Now, you might be wondering, should you even go into either one of these programs? WGU or Western Governors University is an all online program. This is an online university that is regionally accredited. So it's not one of those universities that don't actually count towards actual degrees or don't actually count towards any other schools if you wanted to transfer over your credits. And it's a university that the government actually does respect and it has partnerships with. I heard about WGU way back in 2012 when I was browsing my favorite sneaker forum, Nike Talk, and I saw people getting a bachelor's degree at WGU in IT, and they were saying that it came with a bunch of certifications and the degree at the same time. Now, back in 2012, everybody thought that WGU was a scam. As of 2025, I would definitely say that WGU is 100% not a scam, and it can be beneficial to some people. So what makes WGU different from other programs is that you get certifications and the degree at the the same time and you don't need to pay any additional money to get these certifications. So with the bachelor's program, it comes with about 12 or 13 different certifications. It comes with the CompTIA A plus certification, the CompTIA security plus certification, the CompTIA network plus certification, which is the CompTIA trifecta. It also includes the CompTIA CYSA plus, the cybersecurity analyst certification, CompTIA IT operations specialist, CompTIA network vulnerability assessment, professional, CompTIA Network Security Professional, CompTIA Pentest Plus, CompTIA Project Plus, CompTIA Secure Infrastructure Specialist, CompTIA Security Analytics Professional, and it comes with Certified Cloud Security Professional, which is an associate certification offered by IC Squared. And it also comes with the SSCP certification, which is System Security Certified Practitioner, which is another associate certification offered by IC Squared. And finally, it comes with the ITIL foundation certification. So this is a ton of certifications that are all included with this degree. Now with all of these certifications, you would think that this program costs $30,000 a year, but actually to attend for six months, the semester is $4,365 and you don't pay any additional money to get these certifications. Now, when people sign up for WGU, what I've been seeing is a lot of people expecting for this to be some type of boot camp. WGU is not a boot camp. They they do provide you with the information that you need to study and pass the certifications, but it's not a boot camp where you're going to be attending live classes and an instructor is going to teach you all the information to pass these tests. This is definitely a self-paced program and you need to be fully aware of that before you decide to sign up. WGU said that most people who do their bachelor's in cybersecurity degree finish the program within 29 months. That's 60% of people. So it doesn't take nearly as long as a four-year degree and you can do it at your own pace. And I've seen people finish this bachelor's degree in 12 months if you just lock in and study to pass the certs. I think the WGU bachelor's cybersecurity degree is perfect for tech professionals that are looking to mark that checkbox to say that they have a degree and it allows you to get the certifications at the same time. And as you can see, it's a ton of different CompTIA certs, which means that a lot of these certifications are going to allow you to become DOD qualified and meet the baseline qualifications for the DOD 8570 or DOD 8140 baseline certifications. Now, I don't think that the WGU degree is great for people who don't have any tech experience. I don't think it's great for people that are looking to transition into tech and get into tech as soon as possible, because again, you're just getting a bunch of certifications and it's not going to help you get those hands-on skills. You can easily land your first entry-level tech job without getting this degree. And I recommend that people actually have their employers pay for their degree. 
degrees, whether it's a bachelor's, a master's, or a PhD, let the companies pay for it. So land your tech job and let them pay for your degree so you're not coming out of pocket whatsoever. If you already have a bachelor's degree and you're already working in tech or GovTech specifically and thinking about getting the master's in cybersecurity and information assurance at WGU, I think that this program isn't that bad either. I've seen people get this master's in two months. Now, again, WGU is not one of those programs or one of those universities that a hiring manager or a recruiter is going to look at your resume and say, wow, they went to WGU. That's not what this school is for. This is literally just a school to mark the checkbox and say that you have a degree and say that you have certifications. It does not prove that you have any skills, but it marks those requirements that you might find on job listings. If you're already working in tech or gov tech, I think that the master's in cybersecurity and information assurance from WGU is great because it's only three certifications and it comes with three additional optional vouchers that you can use to get other certifications as well. So when you're looking at this degree, the master's comes with the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Certification, which is CYSA+, CompTIA Pen Test+, ISC Squared Certified in Cybersecurity, and those are the three required certifications that you need to get. And then it also comes with the CASP Certification, which is the CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner. This is an optional voucher. Another optional voucher that it comes with is the ISACA CISM certification. So this is a Certified Information Security Manager Cert. So this is an optional voucher that you can get. And you also need to do a capstone project as well, which is really not that difficult. So if you're just looking to check that box and make sure that you have a master's and get a few certifications at the same time, WGU is going to be a great way to do it. Now, by getting this master's, that doesn't mean that your employer is going to immediately give you a raise. If you want to really take full advantage of getting this master's, you will probably need to switch companies to take advantage of a technical professional that has a government security clearance and has a master's with a lot of different certifications that the government sector values. For most people, it's not the golden ticket to a tech career it's made out to be, but for some, especially those already in GovTech or already working in tech, it can be a smart addition to your resume. Now, you might be wondering, Simone, if the WGU degree isn't the answer, how do I actually get into tech and how do I actually scale my tech salary and get a high paying tech job? That's a great question. The truth is the path to a six figure tech career is simpler than most people think. It's not about the degrees, it's about the right skills, the right certification, and knowing how to position yourself. So if you wanna learn exactly how you can scale your tech career salary, just watch the free course that I have. The link is in the description below. I show you exactly how to scale your tech career salary into those high six figure tech salaries that you see everybody else making. So click the first link in the description to watch my free course and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. See you on the next one.